welcome to another exciting journey into the past. Today, we're diving into the world of Tapajara, one of the most fascinating pterosaurs that ever lived. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn all about this incredible creature that soared the skies millions of years ago. Tapajara was a genus of pterosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period, around 127 to 112 million years ago. The name Tapajara comes from the Tupi language of Brazil, meaning the Lord of the Ways. It belonged to the family Tapajaridae, a family of small to medium-sized pterosaurs from the early Cretaceous period known for their distinctive crests on their heads, which varied in shape and size among different species. Tapajara had a large, sail-like crest which was likely used for display purposes, perhaps to attract mates or intimidate rivals. Imagine a modern-day bird of paradise with its vibrant plumage. Tapajara's crest may have served a similar purpose. Tapajara was a small-sized pterosaur with a wingspan of approximately 1.23 to 1.3 meters. Its body was small and relatively lightweight, making it an adept flyer. The first fossils of Tapajara were found in the Santana Formation in northeastern Brazil. This area is renowned for its well-preserved fossils from the early Cretaceous period, offering a glimpse into a vibrant prehistoric ecosystem. The discovery of Tapajara is credited to Brazilian paleontologists. The first and only species of the genus, Tapajara wilhofferi, was described in 1989 by Alexander Kellner and Diogenes de Almeida Campos. Their work opened the door to further discoveries and studies about this fascinating pterosaur. During the early Cretaceous period, Tapajara lived in a warm, humid environment rich in diverse flora and fauna. Its habitat included rivers, lakes, and coastal areas providing ample opportunities for feeding and nesting. Tapajara was likely an omnivore, with a diet consisting of both plants and small animals. Its short, toothless beak was equipped with sharp edges, making it perfect for slicing through a variety of foods, from fruits and leaves to small vertebrates and insects. Tepajara's unique physical characteristics didn't stop at its crest. It also had large, keen eyes, suggesting it had excellent vision. This would have been crucial for spotting food and navigating its environment. Additionally, its lightweight, hollow bones made it an agile flyer and capable of soaring long distances. There were many different kinds of tapajarids, each with its own distinct features. For example, Tupandactylus had a much larger and more elaborate crest compared to tapajara. These differences helped scientists understand the diversity and evolution of pterosaurs. In terms of behavior, tapajara was likely a social creature living and flying in groups. This behavior would have provided safety in numbers and made it easier to find food and mates. Imagine flocks of Tepejara soaring above the ancient landscape, their crests glinting in the sun. A truly spectacular sight. The discovery of Tepejara fossils have provided invaluable insights into the world of pterosaurs. By studying these fossils, scientists have been able to reconstruct not only the appearance of Tepejara, but also its behavior and ecology, painting a vivid picture of life during the early Cretaceous. Tapajara was a remarkable creature, a testament to the incredible diversity of life that once thrived on our planet. Its distinctive crest, impressive flying abilities, and intriguing behavior make it a fascinating subject for study and a symbol of the wonders of prehistoric life. Thank you for joining me on this journey back in time to explore the world of Tapajara. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting videos. See you next time!